Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and my tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you 10 DAX formula bar keyboard shortcuts that every Power BI developer must know to make your life easy. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the first shortcut here is to create a copy of the entire line either up or down. For example, I have a variable defined here for minimum date and I want to create a copy of this to create the max date variable. So what I can do is I can press shift alt and either the up key or the down key. So if I press shift alt and up key, it is going to create a copy above and if I press shift alt and down key it is going to create a copy below and now I can simply come over here and change this to max and this is really easy. Now let's take a look at the next shortcut. Now with this shortcut you will be able to move the lines either up or down. For example let's say you have this variable max value to show and you want to move this from fifth line to the second line. All you have to do is press alt hold and up arrow key to move this one line above and then if you want to go down you can use alt hold plus down arrow key to move this value below. Now let's take a look at the next shortcut and in this piece of DAX code that I have over here I am referring to the table sales and the column country over here and I have multiple occurrences of the table sales and country over here as you can see. Now let's say instead of referring to the country column I want to change this and refer to my item type column in my data set. So instead of changing this in all of the sections over here what I can simply do is I can make a selection of the column that I want to change and then I can press Control shift and L. So what this does is it basically selects all the occurrences of your selection that you have made over here and now if you want to refer back to the item type you can simply type item type over here and now you will start referring to item type value in that particular DAX. Now this is going to make your life really easy. Now let's take a look at the next shortcut. In the previous one I taught you how to make a selection of all occurrences when you've made the selection. In this shortcut, let's say for example, you can just keep your cursor on one of the word over here. For example, in this case, uh, it is considered max values to show as one word because we've used underscore over here. And if we want to select or make a selection of all the occurrences of max values to show, I can simply press control plus F2 and now it will make a selection of all of the occurrences of this particular word and if I want to make a change to that let's say I want to change this to min date I can simply do that by typing in over here and it will make the change in all of the occurrences in my DAX code. In the previous shortcut you had to make the entire selection over here only then it is going to work but in this case you only have to keep your cursor on the word that you want to select and then press Control F2 it will automatically select all the occurrences of that particular word. Now let's move on to the next shortcut and if you take a look at this line of code over here you see that this is not indented properly. So let's indent this. So what I will do is I will press shift and enter to move this to the next line and then I'm going to come over here and then press shift enter to move this to the next line and if you want to indent this what you can do is press control one of these square brackets. So if you press the left square bracket over here it will move towards the left and if you press the right square bracket over here along with control it will move towards the right so that you can indent this properly. For example I can move this again below over here and press control and right square bracket key over here and this will start moving towards the right. This will help you indent your code so that it is more readable, it is more understandable. Now I have added these two variables over here. I don't want these variables to be calculated within the DAX but however I want to keep them so that I want to refer them later or maybe I want to use them later. So to keep these variables within the code but not actually evaluate those line of codes what we can do is we can comment the line so that it is not evaluated. So to do that what I can do is I can press control and slash key over here this will sort of comment the lines here and now you see that this has turned into a little green shade of color and which means that these two lines of code are not going to be evaluated in this particular measure. And now to uncomment this or to start evaluating this all I can do is press control and backslash key again and this will now start to evaluate again. 
And the next shortcut here is about expanding the DAX formula bar. I can just press Ctrl plus J to expand this a little more further and then press Ctrl J again to minimize this and then Ctrl J to sort of expand that. Now let's move on to the next shortcut. Now let's say that you want to delete an entire line. What you can do is you can go to that particular line which you want to delete and then click Ctrl, Shift and K that will delete the entire line for you. Now let me give you another bonus tip. Let's say that your current selection here is on the line number 23 and you want to move to line number 4 and delete that line. Now with just shortcuts I will be able to do this. So what I will do is I'll press Ctrl G. This is asking me to enter the line number where I want to my cursor to go to. So I'll enter the line number as 4 over here and press enter, go to line number 4. And now I want to delete the entire line. So what I can do is just press Ctrl, Shift and K. My entire line is deleted. Now when you master these codes over here, this will make your life really, really easy wherein you don't have to use your mouse at all and with just a couple of clicks you'll be able to do all of these things very easily. And now the last shortcut for today's video is how you can zoom in and zoom out of your DAX formula bar. So what you can do is press the control and plus button on your keyboard to zoom in into your DAX code and then you can use the minus key here to zoom out of your DAX code. So these were the 10 DAX keyboard shortcuts which will make your life really easy and also when you use them your boss is going to be impressed. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.